Hello and welcome to Grabs and Deals. My name is Richard Bell and I am the founder of Grabs and Deals. Grabs and Deals is an online discount store. Grabs and Deals has picky deals for picky people because Grabs and Deals knows just how picky you are. You can shop at Grabs and Deals online at grabsanddeals.com. Hello everybody, hope you're having a great new year. Hope it's starting off great for you. Hope you enjoyed the holidays. Today I want to talk to you about low bar offers. The title of this video today is going to be called Understanding Low Bar Offers and How to counter them. This was actually inspired by another reseller. His name is Marcus. He has a channel called Dixon's Pickens and someone recently asked him how he deals with uh, low ball offers and he just deals uh, but he just deals with them in different ways and I thought it was a great opportunity for me to put my experience to light and help people understand low ball offers and why we get them. My background is I uh, came from asset protection uh, in the retail industry at the supervisor level so I was dealing with all types of people. I've been been involved in community service for many years as a volunteer firefighter. Also worked in law enforcement for a while. I think all this experience has helped me deal with this and especially being in the asset protection world, I sometimes have to come out and solve problems and deal with people. And I've got to learn a lot from the managers that I've worked with, the floor managers that handle the, the sales. I got to work with them on stuff and I've learned a lot from my own experience. Today we're going to talk about low ball offers. The first thing I want to talk to you about with low ball offers is the reason why buyers make low ball offers. You gotta understand the buyer in order to understand the low ball offer. Buyers make low ball offers for a variety of reasons. Okay, one of the reasons that they make low ball offers is they want to test the waters and see how low you will go in your price. That's one of the reasons why we get low ball offers. And Another reason that we get low ball offers as resellers or as sellers from buyers is they are not experienced buyers. They don't know how to negotiate and most likely are receiving bad advice from others on how to negotiate. So that's that's one of the other reasons why we get uh, low ball offers. Another reason that we get low ball offers, that sellers get low ball offers, is buyers don't perceive the property to hold the same value as you, the reseller, as us, the reseller. They don't perceive the same value of the merchandise. They think the value is like lower or than that. So that's another reason why we get the uh, low ball offers. Another reason and I think the final reason we get low ball offers as uh, sellers is the buyers have unrealistic expectations of the marketplace. In other words they're not expecting the marketplace to go up, down. They don't expect the ch prices to change. They think they just go lower not up. The next question that you're probably thinking about asking is now that we understand the buyers and why they make low ball offers, how do we deal with low ball offers as sellers. We're going to get into that. I have an answer for that too. How do we deal with low ball offers? If the buyer has concerns about the overall value of the property, learn what those concerns are. Share facts with the buyer about the products to validate your pricing. However, you still may not be able to change the buyer's mind. Okay, You may not be able to change the buyer's mind. That's going to happen. No doubt about it. You may not be able to change their mind. It's not a matter of you being good. It's not a matter of you being bad. And, and the reason why that happens is buyer does can't afford it. Maybe it's out of their range and we're going to talk about that too. In some cases, not all, sellers need to know when to walk away and not waste time no matter how much they desire to make the sale. So you as a seller got to know to walk away sometimes. Sometimes it's better to walk away, which I believe Marcus did as I was telling you in Dickens Pickens. I believe uh, he said that he walked away from it, the sale. It's okay to do that. Sometimes you're going to have to, but you don't want to do it all the time. With that being said, doesn't mean that you ignore an offer, whether it's low ball or not. Well, the next question is, should a seller ignore low ball offers from buyers by not responding to the offer? The answer is no. You never want to ignore any offer. As a seller, you never want to ignore an offer. Why? Because people who buy from you are going to recommend other people to buy from you. Like I have my own online store called Grabs and Deals. I don't really, I sell on eBay, I sell on Poshmark, but I really don't like it. I put more focus on Grabs and Deals than I do those. I can do better in pricing down there for for the sellers, I can do cheaper deals and I can put the prices lower and make a better profit. You never want to ignore an offer. You should always make a counter offer and hear what the buyer has to say. Listen, hear the buyer out, hear what they have to say. So the next question you probably have is how do you, the seller, acknowledge a low ball offer from a buyer? Tell the buyer that you are willing to negotiate on price. However, you need to hear a serious starting offer first. You're selling an item for maybe $30 and a person comes 
in and offers you like five dollars for it do you really want to ignore it is it gonna make you mad I don't get mad personally I'm gonna counter it what I'm gonna tell them is hey listen I really want to negotiate with you but you got to come up with a serious offer first the other thing you can do is make a counter offer slightly lower than your asking price once again state to the buyer that you are willing to negotiate but will only discuss serious offers here's an example how you doing ma'am I know a lot of your sales are gonna be online but you're not gonna be face to face but sometimes you are if you're making uh, Facebook deals and then you meet the buyer in public they sometimes want to negotiate a better deal when they get there here's how you would negotiate that type of deal you're selling the item for selling it for $25 $30 the buyer comes in and offers you $5 tell the buyer ma'am sir I do want to really make a deal with you however I am willing to negotiate but you must first give me a serious offer now I can't go five dollars five dollars is much too low but if we're gonna do negotiations make a serious offer or I could say sir ma'am I want to do an offer with you however I can't I can't sell this item for $25 I can't let it go for I mean I can't let it go for five dollars however if I'm selling it for 25 30 however I'll say ma'am I, I can let the item go for $28 that starts the offer but again I'm willing to negotiate with you you need to make a serious offer it's important to be direct in the process and acknowledge that you see the offer as too far under market value you gotta let them know that tell them listen I can't do five dollars that's way below the market value I can't do that another thing you can do is not respond immediately and let them know that you will get back so if they're going on they tell you ten dollars they send you a message okay ten dollars and you tell them no I need a serious offer they come up thirty dollars not thirty dollars they come up um, fifteen dollars or eleven dollars I had one person do that to me a long time ago they kept going dollar by dollar what I did I said uh, that offer is way too low I'm sorry but unfortunately at this time I cannot accept your offer I have other offers to consider however I will get back to you and I let it go that's how I walk away without walking away by what I just said and I repeat it five dollars ma'am I can't go five dollars unfortunately I can't go that low I do appreciate your interest in this item at this time however I have other buyers that's also interested in it I will get back to you and that's how you would handle it the next question you're gonna ask me is how do you the seller know when to walk away and I'm, when the product or item is out of the buyers price range no matter how much they desire to make it work I want to make it work you gotta say listen unfortunately I can't go that low I know it's I know you really want the item but I really can't go no lower than $30 I can't go no lower than $30 on that that's what you tell them fortunately as you know we're not gonna be able to get a deal done today sorry about that if you see something else you like or if you can come up later on you no, know, if you come up in price or you change your mind, just just reach out to me. If it's still available, I would love to uh, get a deal done with you. But I'm, right now, it's out of your price range, and it's it's not in mine either to let this go for eight nine dollars. So again, when the product or item is out of the buyer's price range, no matter how much they desire to make make the deal work, you still got to walk away. The next thing is the buyer wants to uh, play hardball, and their top offer will not meet your bottom line price. Walk away, and they keep coming up and say, "Well, listen." I can get this here. I'm sorry, Bob, sir, ma'am. My suggestion is if you can buy it at Amazon cheaper, by all means, please go get it. I, I want to see you get the deal that you want, but unfortunately, I can't give you that deal today. Always use customer service skills. Don't get mad. I know some people get frustrated. Some people get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get frustrated. You got to realize this is a business. Everybody wants a deal. Buyers want to get a good deal for themselves because it's business. They want to save money. When you go out, you want a good deal. You want to save money. You're going to try to cut a deal if you can. So don't don't get frustrated don't get mad and there are gonna be like I said those those hardboard people that just can't meet your bottom line walk away walk away but don't get mad there's always gonna be somebody out there that's gonna buy the product the product may take a little longer to sell than you want it to but it'll eventually sell and you got to watch the market with the uh, item too sometimes the item goes up in value sometimes the item go down in value I've learned that last year that's why as I said I'm redoing my uh, website grabs and deals when you're in this line of work it's customer service and you got to be a people person you can't get mad it's like your job you get frustrated at certain things at your job but you still go to the job and you do it and that frustration goes away the next day or it goes away in a couple hours maybe or at the end of the day the frustration goes away sooner or later it'll go away if you have a, a neighbor next door it's a quiet day it's your day off they're having a loud party over there it's gonna frustrate you but you know it's your neighbor they're nice people they're gonna frustrate you you're gonna go next door and you're gonna talk to them and nicely say hey listen my day off I'm having a rough day or you're gonna try to
try to compromise the music or whatever it is that's annoying you that they're doing. You gotta talk to them and try to come to a compromise so they can have their party, they can have yours, but there may be a thing where you may not be friends with the neighbor no more because at some point, either the neighbor's gonna walk away or you're gonna walk away, depending on the neighbor. If you got one of those nasty neighbors, which thank God I don't, I love my neighbors, then you're gonna walk away and probably not get along with your neighbor after that. But if you have a, a good neighbors like I do, you're either just gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna grin and bear it today because it is my neighbor, they are good people, they don't throw parties that often, and I am having a bad day, I'll just be, I'll be a little frustrated for the day, but that's okay, it's gonna go away. So you can do it that way, or you know what, maybe I'm gonna go next door, talk to my neighbor, tell them, hey, I'm not having a good day, if you could kinda turn the music down a little bit for me, it'll help me. You know, most likely my neighbor would do that for me, but most likely, in the event they're throwing a party, I'm not gonna walk across and ask them to turn the music down, because that's not what I do. They don't throw parties that often, and I'm probably just gonna leave them alone. So at the same time, I compromise, right? I go in there, I compromise, I try to cut a deal. That's the same thing with reselling. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna try to cut a deal. Sometimes you're gonna get the deal, you're gonna make a great deal, you're gonna meet in the middle somewhere, or sometimes you're just gonna have to completely walk away and ignore it. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget, you can shop online at Grabs and Deals at grabsanddeals.com. I'll leave the link below. Or on Facebook, hopefully you like the Facebook page. And if you have any questions on reselling, let me know. This is January, and like I said in the past, I'm not good on social media. And one of my New Year's resolutions, we're gonna be to start doing uh, videos. And here I am, I'm gonna start trying to do these uh, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week. I'm gonna try to make it a routine where if I don't do them, I don't feel comfortable not doing them. That's my goal this year. We're gonna amp up the uh, social media presence for grabs and deals this year. Please subscribe to my channel. If you're here on YouTube, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please like us on Facebook and please shop grabs and deals. That's the most important thing. Please shop grabs and deals and on grabs and deals, you're not going to pay the extra fees that you're gonna pay with uh, Poshmark that you pay with eBay. You're not gonna get all those taxes. I include the taxes and the price because it is my website. So when I put a price, it's gonna be that price and I can include the taxes and the sales. So I'm not gonna lose, you're not gonna lose. So if I have an item there for uh, $20, you're gonna pay $20 plus whatever the shipping price is. I do charge shipping on most things. Uh, there are maybe a few things here and there I don't charge shipping on. If I'm selling clothing, you're probably gonna pay $7.99, $5.99 to $7.99 in shipping fees. So that price will be 20 plus $7.99. So you're not gonna get this fee, that fee, and uh, the other fees like Poshmark and eBay charge and uh, Macari. I give you a better deal with that because I'm not paying reseller fees by being on eBay. I'm not paying reseller fees on Macari. I'm not paying reseller fees on Poshmark. It's grabs and deals. I'm in charge of grabs and deals. I make the prices on grabs and deals. And you can also send me offers through um, email. If you go to email or you go into uh, Facebook, grabs and deals Facebook, you can message me on Facebook and just send me, hey, I like this, uh, if you're a woman and you see a top you like or two, hey, I like this tunic. You got it for $30, but can you uh, go a little cheaper than $30? I, I would like to offer you maybe $25. Can you go that low for me? You know, just send me the uh, message there and then we'll see if we can get a deal done that way. Because uh, again, negotiate. So I don't mind negotiating. I like negotiating skills. I like being uh, out there dealing with people. I want to help people too, but I also want to make uh, my bottom line in sales. So again, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, go out there. Happy selling if you're a seller and happy buying if you're a buyer. And hopefully you buyers and sellers will meet in between and you'll get good deals this year. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be a better year this year. Sales are a little, you know, not the greatest last year, but I have a feeling as the year goes on, things are going to pick up. Things are going to get a little better. We'll put last year behind us and everybody starts fresh and things will get better. Stay out there. Keep your head up high. Until next video, stay safe out there. And remember, grab some deals, shop grab some deals dot com for good deals. Grabs and Deals has picky deals for picky people and I'll see you next time.